Oh my god, cheers. Let's get some shiz. Let's get some shiz. Let's get some shiz. Let's get some shiz. The biggest challenge to the transition to a more globalized world economy is to keep it human and fair. That is to agree on values, rules, and procedures which should allow us to set up the necessary governance. In 2006, while traveling in Argentina, Blake Mykoski was inspired by the impoverished children he encountered. Surprised by the sight of so many children without shoes, the idea of One for One was born and evolved into Tom's Shoes. One for One is the act of Tom's Shoes donating a pair of shoes to a needy child every time a pair is bought. Although shoes are something many people take for granted, in reality they can save lives. So why shoes? Many people in developing countries living without shoes are exposed to podlokinosis. Podlokinosis is a parasite that lives in contaminated soils which enters the body through cuts and sores on the feet. While considering sustainability, Blake Mykoski decided to start a business rather than a charity to make his impact last longer on these suffering children. So how did you hear about Tom's shoes? Um, I heard about Tom's through that AT&T commercial that they put on, uh, I guess it was during the Super Bowl. Right. Uh, I thought it looked like a good idea, so I checked him out. And what made you want to get involved with it? Um, I just think the whole idea is really cool. That, uh, like, they, they take a, a business that is used for profit and use it as a non-profit organization. Um, and that's what's able to actually sustain the company itself. Um, and plus, like, I just like the style of shoes anyways. So. so you own some? Yeah, I have three pairs. Three pairs, wow. Yeah. That's pretty good. Create and maintain conditions under which humans and nature can exist in a productive harmony and fulfill the social, economic, and other requirements of the present and future generations of America. Since the creation of Tom's Shoes, over 150,000 shoes have been given to children in need, concluding how booming this business has become. So the question is, can sustainability and globalization exist in the same? Tom's nonprofit organization has proven that it in fact can. Tom Shoes has become a competitive business in the shoes industry as well as a sustainable development worldwide. While ensuring economic growth, he has helped social welfare as well as environmental protection. This is when I was walking into a store shopping for my friend's birthday and I saw a sign that said one for one and I thought they were really cute so I thought why not and purchase them if I was helping someone else somewhere far away that I don't even know I thought it was also really cool that they recycle them and that they are natural products and that they're really cute and I just ended up buying a second pair Citizens all over the world, ordinary people from the global north and south can work together to shape alternative futures to build a globalization of cooperation solidarity, and respect for our common planetary environment. Think globally, act locally. For Blake Mykoski, this idea started in a small apartment and has now grown into large warehouses in China to keep up with demand. This shows the importance of thinking globally with the retrospect of starting small and using globalization as a tool to build an empire to create a more sustainable way of living. On Blake Mykoski's blog, he states, I'm a big believer in teaching someone to fish instead of giving them a fish. In this case, we must give them a fish in order for them to learn other things that will allow them to improve their lives. Try to start kind of this shoe revolution where, um, there are shoes as well. Um, the business with Tom Shoes here at Canadians is really well. We sell about 10 pairs a week. Um, the students that come in really love the style of shoes and the patterns on them. They say they're really comfortable um, and they do know about the cause of the shoes. Um, we have signage up for um, around the shoes as well as a video that repeats all day about the background, kind of the story about Tom's shoes. Um, so they're a great product. As I wait to 
board my flight back home after 16 days in Africa, I am consumed with emotions, children's faces, funny memories, and visions of the future. I'm alone right now, but feel deeply connected to each of the volunteers, cameramen and women and friends who I spent my time with the past few weeks. And I feel especially connected to each of the Tom's family members I will be returning to. I believe each of us has a mission in life and that one cannot truly be living their most fulfilled life until they recognize the mission and dedicate their lives to pursuing it. I'm walking on sunshine.